So when we talk about pulleys, there's a couple things that we want to mention, some things that you should look out for when you're going to purchase a pulley. Um, one thing, for example, is the difference between ball bearing and bushing pulleys. Um, ball bearings generally have a higher efficiency and roll a lot more smoothly than bushings, but bushings can generally take a much higher sustained load um, over a longer period of time. Um, sheave size is also something you want to pay attention to. You want to make sure that your rope is actually compatible with the sheave size. Putting a 13 millimeter rope in a sheave that's only accommodating for 11 millimeter rope is going to cause problems within your rope and potentially um, damage your rope. Um, when we're talking about mechanical advantage and increased you know, pulling power, um, there's always different ways to add additional pulleys within your system to increase mechanical advantage. But you always want to make sure that you're paying attention to the, the working load limits and the MBS on the pulleys so you're not creating a, a overly significant amount of force on your pulleys. Um, and generally, when we, when we talk about pulleys, um, you know, like, like we said here, there's all sorts of different sizes, shapes, and you really want to figure out what works best for you. If you're going for a lightweight rig, you know, maybe something a little bit smaller with a smaller rope diameter might be better. If you're talking about long lines and big lines, you know, some big pulleys like these SMC 3 inches over here might be a better fit for you. Um, so just, you know, a lot of it's situation dependent and because everything's so interchangeable, it's really up to you to kind of tinker around and figure out exactly what's going to be um, right for your situation.